let's just begin with with PPC. So basically, what I like to do to make things really easy is I always like to sort based on the cost per click price when it comes to AdWords research. Because usually people are working within a certain budget and if you are working with a budget that's let's say under $500 a month there's no way that you can afford a keyword that has a 27 or a $27 bid per click like that's just ridiculous you'd be your you'd, you'd spend your budget in probably less than a day so with that being said i always like i said base everything for AdWords research or PPC research on the client's cost per click budget. Okay, so let's highlight this. Let's sort based on cost per click price, smallest to largest. And now here we have a lot of viable, affordable terms. These are all under a dollar. If we like to get fancy with it, you can go ahead and highlight it so that they can see what's good to use and what's uh, very affordable. Let's say that your budget is under $5 a click. Okay, so that's what I'm basing all of this on right now. You don't have to color code it. I I like to do that for clients just because it it makes it easier to read for them. Okay, so then wherever the five dollars ends, that's where I will usually insert things like this, and then I'll go keywords with high cost per click. However you want to to name that you know just let them know like obviously these are super duper high <laughs> there's no way they're gonna be able to afford terms like that and then you can just go ahead and put all those in red or like a super deep red to like avoid however you want then we come back up here and we look at what is viable right so if we're sticking to our topic of email marketing, let's see what some profitable keywords would be for for AdWords, right? So obviously the first thing that we wanna look for is the search volume because we wanna make sure that not only is our cost per click price going to be low and affordable, we also wanna make sure that it's going to be worth what we're paying for. So we wanna be able to, to get some in front of a lot of people, right? So get response login while it gets a lot of searches that's not going to be very helpful to us at all there's not a lot of content we could write around that and obviously these people are just looking to log into their get response accounts there's not a lot of uh profitability there for us now email address there's there's some 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 profitability it's pretty wide open but i guess there's some content that could be made around that so that's a that's a possibility. Really, I like to use these X's. That makes things a lot easier when we want to sort later. Uh, so let's, let's look at what else we got here. Um, how to make an email. That's pretty good. That's training. You could maybe sell some products around that or something. Uh, auto response text. Mm, not unless you had like a software or something. Autoresponder sequence, that's pretty good, but there's not a ton of searches for that. Good email, you could you could write some content and create some products around that. Why use email marketing? Also not very highly searched, but that's a good term. Marketing director, depending on what you do, maybe that's a good term to use. How to write an email, that's a, that's a better term. Autoresponder affiliate programs, mm, maybe, maybe if you had 
some kind of software that might be a good term to go for. Integrated marketing agency, possibly if you were a marketing agency like that. Email websites, uh, maybe, maybe. Um, there's a few ways you could use that. Business email etiquette, that's a pretty good one. Auto respond. these are text message related, so no, not really. Email plan doesn't really get enough. No, guerrilla marketing, no. Here's email etiquette training, that's another good one. Email marketing in digital marketing. Mm. Benchmark email marketing, possibly if you were in that specific niche and you touched on those topics. Um, marketing news, maybe. If you were a blog or a website that you did a lot of marketing news and you wrote about those types of things, then sure, that would be a good term to go after. But for what we're looking for right here, which is specifically email marketing, probably not. Here's another email etiquette tips. That's a good one. So we're, we're finding patterns here, right? Things that aren't quite um, as highly marketed. So these things aren't going to be very profitable to us, like email marketing job description. That's not going to be very helpful. And we're, we're starting to get into some higher terms, as you guys can see. Marketing, while that looks attractive just by the search volume, it's very wide open. So if you are a marketing company, that might be all right. But it's much better to go with something that's a lot more targeted because you're paying per click, remember, for all of these things. So you want to make sure that whoever is clicking in is actually very interested in the exact thing that you're going to be talking about. Email management training, possibly if you were in that sort of a business. Professional email writing course, that's a pretty good one, even though it doesn't get a lot of searches because you could be charging money for that, right? So that might be profitable how to write a professional email. That's a pretty good one. Still under the $5 per click budget. An email training course, also good because you could be making some money off of that. And that's about it. So that's where our cutoff point is, right? Because we don't want to any, make any recommendations really that are gonna be over our client's budget here or our own budget. So now let's just go ahead and sort based on all of the keywords that we selected. Go up here to custom sort, sort by column F that has the X's. And now it's going to give us those at the very top. Let's see, we have 14 viable keywords that are potentials for us to use in our advertising campaigns. So that's pretty cool, right? And these are all within our, our budget technically. And then down here, I just like to go other keyword, other PPC keyword ideas so that they know like these are still within their budget. If they wanted to, they could go back and use some of these other terms. And then obviously this is where uh, the cutoff point is down here. So, you know, if they were willing to, they could go into this, but that's a little over their budget, right? or if they wanted to do uh, an email marketing training with Emma, the software. So um, those are just a, a couple other possibilities, but again, we wanted to stick under that $5 cost per click price. So then I just like to uh, erase these X's, sometimes that confuses people. And then up here I will write recommended PPC keywords or recommended keywords for AdWords, however you want to label it. Go ahead and save. I like to save it as a workbook. You can save it as a CSV if you'd like as well and name it whatever you want. And that's how you do PPC keyword research. 
In the next video, we're going to be breaking down how to do and sort organic keyword research.